you. Meanwhile, we are in the kitchen <laughs> to check off another item on our fall bucket list today with Allie, who is making the most adorable and delicious and the most pumpkinist. Pumpkin oh. bun cakes. <laughs> Mini pumpkin butt cakes. Right? That Welcome, is right. Alan. Yes, I was inspired by the bucket list to plan your fall wedding at a B&B &B, like all of my heart. The wedding on September 29th. And I feel like this is the perfect little dessert to have at a fall yeah. wedding, right? Yeah. yeah. So oh, great. Cute. So, so, so cute. And I love that they're mini. You know, mm -hmm. there's nothing worse than like a, the there's just too much, you know, like a big wedding cake. This yeah. is nice. You can take it yeah. and go. And I like personal. that. It's yeah. personal. It's yeah. personal. Exactly. And I know someone who loves pumpkin. You. Yeah. Love, yeah. Maria loves pumpkin, and so does Ken. She's Charles. already started, oh, by the way. Like, she's already been they beg to be okay. at the counter. So how do we make this the most pumpkinist of all? The most pumpkinist <laughs> pumpkin ever. Um, pumpkin. Pumpkinist. That's a good one. Um, all it is, honestly, is just a cake batter. You can use vanilla if you want, but I use a spice cake mix. So you nice. just take the cake batter, make it as the box says, and then you just add pumpkin puree. Right. It's as simple as that. Easy. So you just oh, add no. it in. Yeah. I like to make things nice and simple on and myself. And great for the kids' class. Too. Oh yeah, totally. You know? Yeah, and it gets you it gets you right in that fall, you know, spirit. spirit. Get that pumpkin so in there, mix it in, and then all you're gonna do together. cook it like the cake box says. The good thing about using the pumpkin puree there too, it actually makes it a little healthier, Cameron. Right. Because yeah. you can you use guys. a little bit less oil. Because oh, the pumpkin nice. puree kind of acts like mm -hmm. the same way if you use applesauce oh, in your, sure. you know, baking, that's how the pumpkin puree works. So and using, I mean, I I'm not ashamed to say I like to use the pumpkin puree. I just rhymed. I like to uh, use the pumpkin puree out of a can. I, yeah, I, yeah. Nothing wrong with get, you know getting it all out of your pump, but it's it's a lot of work. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. right. yeah, and out it's of a just can. It's easier. It's fine. Throw no, it in so there. I'm already using the can. We're gonna put this in our mini mm. bunt. Pans yes, and, and yes. I don't have one right now, but we would put it in. Do you have any tips to keep it from sticking? Because a lot of times it'll stick, and you need to have the really perfect shape for this. Yes, you do. And I do have actually have a tip. You want to grease it like you normally would, but then you can put like a little bit of either flour or sugar, one or the other, and it will just pop right out. It's a Why really good trick. Dust mm -hmm. a pan with sugar. Mm -hmm. Yes, it makes. Why it not? Too. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> love that. It makes yeah. it better, by the way. Okay, so we take them out. Yes. and Let them cool. So you take them out and let them cool. They'll look like this. So. You, you aren't going to really be able to stack these to look like a pumpkin because, as no. you see, if you do that, that doesn't look like a pumpkin, That's right? That's a totem pole. So all, yes, uh -huh. exactly. So all you're so going to do, do for Thanksgiving. <laughs> is you're going to take a knife and you're just going to cut the tops off. Okay. So these are the tops right down here. See? Yeah. Um, so you cut them off, and what you can do, you don't want to waste anything, right? This no. is too good to waste, am I right? Yeah. So you can either eat these as you go as you're cooking, or <laughs> you can just mix in some frosting and make some cake pops out of oh, them. That way nice. we don't waste. Oh, We're using yeah. every little bit. Okay. So <laughs> you got you got I the idea, Debbie. You, you, you know ahead. what's up. All right. So now the frosting. What is this? Yeah. So this is just this is just regular frosting. Um, you know, you can uh, use anything you want. You can use cream cheese frosting if you want, vanilla, whatever you fancy, and to stick it together. You just put a layer in, layer oh it on gosh, top. Oh my gosh, so it's like the glue. Like so. That's yeah, it is super easy. And anybody can do this. I always say, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I know. Um, That's so cute. Okay, so yeah, just like that. And then you want to decorate. Yeah, exactly. You want to make it look like a pumpkin. Uh huh. So you just add some orange food coloring to okay. your frosting. Any kind of bag. frosting? Uh, any kind. You really can. Cream cheese, vanilla, whatever Ooh, you cream want. Cream cheese would be great. Um, and then it's really simple. You're just going to do like a little, uh, oh, this came out really quick, but a, oh quick, gosh, but a little like squizzle. It. A squizzle, squiggle on the top. <laughs> and you really can't mess up this. Like, you could do it thicker, you could do it like, you know. Make the, it, the, like, the, the, the yeah, side. make the squiggles a little deeper. You can't mess up. It, it's gonna look good either way. And by the way, how much fun would this be to get the kids involved? Totally. Too? Um, oh, how cute. And then when you're done, yeah, Decorate. just a little sugar pearls. You kind of sprinkle on top. Yum. Simple. Oh gosh, I love them. And then does anybody remember these? These little. Yes. Uh, do you see them? Little spearmint mm -hmm. gummies. Of course I, I remember yeah. these. My grandma used to oh, always have these. I was just house. gonna say, my yeah. best friend's grandmother always had this. There's something about grandmas always had these. Yeah. So to, mm. all you're gonna do to decorate on the top is you just add them to the top as a little pumpkin stem. Oh my gosh, stop. And voila, you're done. Super simple. This. You cannot mess up. The kids can get involved. Yeah, you know, they don't have to look uniform. They can all look yeah. different. How does it taste? It, it tastes, tastes incredibly delicious. well. I'm you're almost finished mine, which tastes. is like going to put me in there the sugar shock. I love this. <laughs> yeah. Now, Ali, I want to ask you, obviously, we saw Lacey on the cover of um, All of My Heart, yes, the Wedding. Yes, which inspired uh, this. Which inspired this, oh and, and she's your good friend. Yes, Lacey's one of my best friends. And I love that you went through like a very special time 
together. Yeah, we Tell did. Tell me about it. Um, we planned our pregnancies together. No, I'm just kidding. We did not do that. But we were, friends do. Yeah, we were pregnant at the exact same time with our first children. That's when I was um, pregnant with Molly, Aww. and she was pregnant with her daughter, That's Julia. Um, yeah, so this is actually at my baby shower. And I tried to convince her when I had Riley to, you know, have another go, but she, she's waiting a little bit longer. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, she's the best, and I love all of her Hallmark movies. And since this, this, Lacey, you inspired this, and I love you, so And she would cheers. love this. Yeah. So I know you would. Go ahead. Thank you so much, Allie. This is amazing. I just dig it like We're going for it, Allie. I love for it. I love it. There you go. Go right in, go right in. Don't forget to it's tune fun. in to the premiere of All of My Heart, great. The Wedding, right here on Hallmark Channel this Saturday, <laughs> September 29th. And, of course, you can right. find this full recipe for Allie's mini bun cake mm. on HallmarkChannel.com. Check it out there.